This is problem number 19 from the 2012 AP Calc multiple choice set, another non-calculator question, and it gives us a function f of x. It says at what points on the graph do we have the property that the line tangent to the graph at that point has a slope of one half? So what should hopefully register right away in a line of questioning like this is that a tangent slope is really the value of a derivative at whatever x value we toss into it. So the question ultimately becomes when does f prime of x equal one half since we want to figure out when the tangent line slope is one half. So we have to take our derivative. So you see I used a quotient rule to take the derivative. So derivative of what's up top, original denominator, original numerator times the derivative of what's in the bottom and then square the original denominator. You want to do some work with this, so we'll clean it up a little bit. So just getting rid of the, the grouping symbols uh, by distributing, and they're not really doing a lot up in the numerator. It just kind of shows how my quotient rule fit together. But I do have the ability to eventually cancel these x's, and then I have a nice form of the derivative to work with here. So what we want to know is we want to know when this derivative is equal to 1 half. So we set that derivative equal to 1 half, and now we've got an equation to solve. So if I treat this like a proportion, and I, and I multiply this diagonal and show that answer on the left, multiply this diagonal, show that answer on the right. I do need to take the square root of both sides, and this is maybe the spot within this problem where it's easy to go wrong. Because if you've gotten to this point, the easy thing to do is when you take the square root of 4 is to overlook that there are actually two solutions to that line. Uh, positive 2 and negative 2 are solutions that make something squared equal to 4. And so I have to consider the plus or minus out in front of that 2. And then I subtract 2 from plus or minus 2, and I get negative 2 minus 2, giving me an answer of negative 4, and then 2 minus 2, giving me an answer of 0. Now, that's not an x and a y. That is two separate x's that make the derivative 0. So we are guaranteed that the slope of this graph is equal to 1 half at each of these x's. Uh, there's only one option here. It's option C that has those two x values within it. And you'd get the y values that correspond to these x's by simply plugging negative 4 in place of these x's and evaluating to get 2, and then plugging 0 in place of these x's and evaluating to get 0.